This video is brought to you by Boss Rutan's O2 Trainer and PowerPerformanceProducts.com where you can receive $10 off your purchase of Body Storm and Body Effects. What's up everyone, it's Shannon Slack. Uh, I'm, right now I'm coaching on the Ultimate Fighter. I'm one of the coaches for Team Cruz. I have a fight coming up May 19th in Nebraska. Uh, fighting some kid out there, you know. <laughs> I don't even know his name. Yeah, it's, uh, his name's Charlie Dupre, but I don't want to give him. I don't want to give him any any fame. I don't want to give him any publicity. He's just, <laughs> he's just a body. <laughs> so he's a wrestler. You said you think uh, his style is wrestling, and obviously yours is. So yeah, good luck I, with that. Yeah, good luck with that. I think he's a wrestler, but at the same time, I, I've only I've seen one of his interviews, and he said he's a wrestler. Uh, but it looks like he likes to stand and hang. You know, um, you know. So I, I mean, he's a tough kid. Tough kid, he's got a decent record. You know, he's he's been fighting for a long time, so you know it's it's. I, I'm preparing myself like it's like I'm fighting, you know, Michael Chandler or, or anybody else, any any other tough guy. So he has a lot of experience, so that might be his his one advantage that you would say over you is experience. And where are your advantages? Um. Well, <laughs> I think experience-wise, just cage time, he has that that advantage over me. But I think I have better jujitsu. Uh, I think I'm mentally tougher. I'll be in better shape. I train to better camp. My wrestling's better. Uh, pretty much everything. I mean, progression-wise, it, it's been you know it's been really good. I've gotten you know a lot better. I mean, right now, just being out here, I'm I'm in a camp full of killers. It's, you got Wilson Hayes, Dominic Cruz, Jeremy Stevens, Michael Chandler, uh, Joe Tamajolo, Alex Garcia, um, you know, Mike Easton. I, I mean, I got a ton of guys out here. There's like 15 of us like around my size and, that are all killers in the UFC, world champs, you know, uh, even bigger guys. The energy's great. And back home, you know, I'm, I'm with, with Rain or uh, with Munoz and and uh, Christoph Szczynski, uh Rafael Dos Anjos. Um, I mean, just a, a ton of guys, you know. Then I go over to Jokers, you know, I'm Joker guy, I mean. Um, you know, it's just, I mean, it's good. I mean, my, my strength, conditioning, innovative results, everything's better. My boxing's getting good. I'm with uh, I'm with the Oxnard KO Boxing Camp. It's like Sergio Martinez, Kelly Pavlik, uh, those guys up there, and I'm boxing up there now, so. You go all the way up there? I go up to, yeah, dri I'm driving three hours, three days a week, just so I can get work with those guys. But that's what I'm saying, like, who else is doing that? Who else is gonna do, doing what I'm doing and, and working with, with the trainers they got up there, you know what I mean? Like I'll, I'll go anywhere to get better, but I'm trying to be a world champ. I don't do this for fun, you know. I want to be the best. I think I'm one of the best right now. So I just want to. I'm like the, my goal is to just close the gap on everyone. I, I find someone in practice, and you know I just throw a fishing line out. Now I, every day I'm reeling them in, reeling them in, reeling them in, and you know pretty soon like I'll be that guy. Where um, what are your your what weight, I guess, was what I was going to ask. What weight are you looking to really compete when when, when you get maybe to the big show? Will you try to get down to 35s or will you no, stick at 45s? 45s. The only, way, the only way I'd ever go down to 35s is if uh, I, I'd feel someone and, and, you know, they're just a lot stronger or I'd just be totally out of class at that weight. But I don't see it happen. I mean, you got to realize, too, that uh, I'm, not, I'm not a small 45 pounder. And I competed for a long time internationally in wrestling at 66 kilos, at 145 and a half. So I'm used to the weight, you know, I'm not small. I might be a little bit shorter than some of the guys, but you know, my legs are big. I squat 460 pounds. Like I'm not, I'm not a weak dude at that weight. So it's, I'm comfortable there, you know, I'm, I think I'm faster than, than all the guys there. So it's one of the things, like I said, like I'll never rule it out, you know, but I remember, you know, internationally trying to get down to 32s was just tough, such a tough cut for me. I just don't, you know, I wasn't competing the same way. So I'd rather stay at 45 and, and make it my home and just, I spent a year at the Olympic Training Center growing into 145. So I think it's kind of productive for me to cut all the way back down to 35s now. How many more fights do you think before, you know, you, you can get to the big show and, and obviously you're waiting for the UFC? Uh, I talked to Dana last week. Uh, Hopefully I talk to him again this Friday. And you know, you never know, man. It could be one, could be two. I really can't see it being any more than three. But uh, you know, it's, there's a lot of things happening right now, and I could end up somewhere else. You know, there's there's uh, been options thrown around. 
So it really just depends. Like it's gonna be the best deal and the best fit. Obviously, my goal was always to be in the UFC, but some other things are looking very, very good right now. So you know, we'll see. But like I said, I'll talk to Danny again on Friday, and you know, maybe he has good news for me. <laughs> What, how is the, talk about the experience on the show and how that's been? Uh, it's, I mean, the show, it, it's good with, uh, it's just busy, man, it's a grind, because we got our whole camp out here, so I'm doing four practices a day, two with the Ultimate Fighter, and then two here, so I'm basically starting every day at, at 9 a.m., I gotta be on set at 9 a.m., and I'm finishing up at the gym for our team practice at like 9, 30, 10, every single day, so... Even my days off for two days, like we have Tuesdays off for filming, but I still have two practices that day for regular. You know, the days, we, the team days we have Sundays off, but I still have to film twice a day for that. So my days off, I'm doing two a days. You know, so it's it's a grind. I mean, but it's cool. You know, I get to. Uh, you know, I'm not a main. I'm not. I'm not the star of the show or anything like that. But you know, it definitely gives a little bit of exposure, just being around the guys in the UFC, being able to see Dana every Friday and talk to him and he knows who I am and all that, it's, it's all, it all helps, you know, but it's a good experience, you know, it's a, uh, it just definitely t t tests your mental, mental fortitude, just having, having to grind that hard for that long, three months, you know, it's a long time. How is it having a, you know, having a guy like Dom, you know, champion in the UFC, high level guy like that having your back and I know you've known him a long time but uh you know me and like I said me and Dom I mean, it's great you know me and Dom we we came a long way both of us like I could tell you stories about you know us used to train and I mean there was a point where neither one of us had money neither one of us had a car you know his girlfriend was giving him a ride to practice my girlfriend was giving me a ride to practice neither of us had anything he lived in like a shoebox I lived in another shoebox down the street. He had this like old moped. Like sometimes he would go pick me up on a moped for practice. Or sometimes we could run to practice. You know, and, and you know, I've, he's done well with himself. You know, I've done well. You know, I've progressed and done well on the business side. You know, so it, it's just great to see and, and for things to start to come full circle. Him being a champion and, and you know my career going like this and, and getting. You know some some recognition and, and getting the chance to be where he's at as far as you know fighting. So I mean it's great. Thanks in the interviews. You know thanks Alliance. Uh, shout out to Rain. Of course Crooks and Castles. FWU Crooks. Ain't no such thing as halfway Crooks. CSTC. So but yeah just thanks everybody. Jason Bell, Joker Diamond, Mark Munoz, Crooks all day. Black Red Pit, HBK. Godspeed and party on.